just in my opinion less junk in c drive windows will run better that's all i'm thinking so that's why i'm just keeping the c drive clean so i'm doing a one really cool experiment with my windows 11 that is i want to keep my c drive clean as much as possible i don't want to put any files or programs in it because the longer you use your windows over time it becomes really slow most of the time it is because of the ssd and trim command for ssd not working properly in windows so to fix that issue i'm running this experiment this is actually a really cool experiment and i hope that you guys will love it so in this video i'm going to show you guys what is the experiment that i'm doing plus i'm going to show you guys really clever way to free up the storage without deleting any files and keeping your c drive clean yay <laughs> so i have multiple drives here windows drive that is the main drive the c drive and it is only 500 gigabytes of ssd i actually have larger ssd that is the d drive here you know the reason why i did not install windows in it because i want to keep my c drive clean so if i want to keep my c drive clean it doesn't need to be larger so it's still like 500 gigabytes which is okay i'm actually not gonna put any heavy load in it so that's the whole point of me doing this experiment now here is the really cool thing this is my download folder and i have some files downloaded here if i go to the properties of this folder you will see this download folder is not actually in c drive which is the default location of this folder in windows instead it is in d drive and guess what anything i download from the internet it automatically goes to this folder it doesn't go to the c drive not only that all the folders you see here documents pictures music videos even the desktop is not in c drive they are in different drive in my case they are all in d drive so i'm using something called symbolic link this is the description of that and this is a really cool thing to have if you have multiple drives and if you want to free up your c drive without deleting any files programs or anything to make things even easier i'm using this program called link shell extension this thing makes using symbolic links in windows easy I mean really really easy if you right click on any folder or file you'll get a new option in your right click menu called pick link source click on it and now you go to the different folder let's say i want to link that file to the music folder so i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna drop it as a symbolic link or hard link if it's a folder let's say for example i'm gonna pick a link source for folder and I'm going to right click to the different location, you'll get different options. You'll get symbolic links, junctions and many other. For folders, you should use the junction and for files, you should just use symbolic link. I don't know if I can explain you guys how this thing actually works, but let me try. I'm going to I'm going to try my best. All right. So let's say this is a symbolic link folder file and this is a original file all right and this is our operating system these two are actually connected to each other all right this is just a link and this is the original file but the operating system thinks that symbolic link is actually a file or folder the original folder location or whatever we know that this is a symbolic link this is not a actual file or folder the windows operating system reads the symbolic links as a actual file let's try this one more time another explanation i'm sorry if i'm being lame so here you can see in my user folder there are a bunch of junction links that i have created for downloads folders and other folders they are not actually here and they are not consuming any space from c drive but the operating system thinks that they are here you can see downloads folder location is here in c drive which is correct because it is actually here but if we go to the link properties here you can see this is a junction type link 
because it's a folder and for folder you should use the junction link if it's a file you should use the symbolic link so here you can see the target or the actual location of this folder is in d drive so every time i download anything from the internet no matter what browser or download manager i use they will download all those files to this folder automatically because the operating system thinks that the downloads folder is actually in C drive. I think I'm making this video longer and not getting into the point. Now we actually get into the point. All right. So now you have a little bit of idea what experiment I'm doing with this. You know, I'm just trying my best to keep my Windows drive clean. But what if your Windows C drive is already full or it is getting full and you want to free up the space? You know, you can actually do one thing, really cool thing. Let's say you have any game or program that you'd want to move to another drive and still you want to use that without uninstalling or reinstalling. I don't want this Riot, Riot. Games folder and game in my C drive. So what I'm going to do is cut this and I'm going to put it somewhere else. And I like to organize my things. I have some folders created for you know symbolic links i you know try to manage them very well and you can see there is icons and whatnot so i'm gonna paste that file in this d drives program files now it's gone from the c drive so what i can do is now right click and pick link source all right and i'm gonna right click on the original files source remember this is where this folder was all right i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna drop it as a junction if it was a single file i would use a symbolic link but since this is a folder i'm gonna have to use the junction option so i'm gonna click on that all right now you're done yeah the operating system still thinks that this game is still in c drive the original place but actually it's not here and it's not taking any space of the c drive if you right click on the properties of right games then you'll see it's in c drive and it's taking the space but actually it's not if i go to the link properties you can see it's here not in here i think it's still like a little bit confusing but you can actually move around most of the things if you don't have permission to that file or folder that you want to move around then you can take a ownership of that i'm using a nile soft shell which gives you really cool right click menu in windows 11 and also gives you some additional options such as this take ownership option possibilities are endless you can actually slim down your entire c drive uh, if you have time and dedication, you may have to do it one by one because some files can't be moved or deleted. I don't recommend you guys to touch any of the Windows system files uh, just for your safety. But if you have any programs or games that you have installed manually, you are free to move them around and free up the storage. For now, my only goal is that I don't want to fill up my C drive because over time Windows really becomes really, really slow, especially if it's SSD. So I'm gonna try to slim down the C drive as much as possible. I'm not gonna try to put anything in it. I'm gonna use the symbolic link as much as possible. If it's getting full, I'm just gonna move around even the system files. Not yet, I, as I said, do not touch the system files all right it's it's not safe but just for the experiment i will do it if windows becomes slow and if it fills itself i know there, there will be temporary files there will be windows updates that will add more things to it so but i think if i keep doing this i think i can you know keep my c drive clean let's run this experiment for a few months i think this has been only two weeks now and trust me it's pretty good okay so i don't want to make this video longer but <laughs> okay this is my c drive and i'm gonna run a just quick benchmark you can see this is the benchmark this is a normal ssd let's run the d drive over time we get the problem with the writing speed 
and you can see C drive is faster than the D drive right now because <laughs> it has less files to read and I don't need to delete a bunch of files in it and trim command doesn't have to run all the time. Maybe it's a little bit confusing what I'm trying to say here. If this experiment goes well, I have to make another video for Microsoft. <laughs> Just in my opinion, what I'm thinking right now is less junk in C drive, Windows will run better. That's all I'm thinking. So that's why I'm just keeping the C drive clean. Yeah, that's it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.